Earlier on this season, I was lucky enough to be invited out to Alp Duez to help make a film about skilled mapping. Essentially what the project was, was filming the process of adding ski runs to Google Street View. It was absolutely fascinating to see how it was done, and this is one of the few runs we were able to grab in between filming sessions where we were able to take advantage of the perfect conditions. If you're interested in seeing a ski resort put on Google Street View, then I've left the link to the video we shot in the description below. The guy skiing in front of me is called Alex and he's the owner of Skilled Mapping. Essentially what Skilled Mapping does is they add images to Google Street View and what he's specialising in is adding Street View images of ski runs. So soon you'll be able to see ski runs before you actually get there and the likelihood is it was Alex who put them on. The way that he does this is fantastic. He's got an 11K spherical camera which he puts in a backpack and skis down the runs. Now just to put this into perspective, this video was filmed in 4K and that's pretty mind-blowing quality. But 11K is another level. The only slightly odd thing about doing this project was that I was essentially filming him skiing down some pretty steep slopes with a camera strapped to his back that was worth more than a car. So it was quite nerve wracking. As you can see from the video, we were so lucky with the conditions. Not only did we have plenty of snow early on in the season, which is almost unheard of nowadays, but also there were hardly any people in the resort. I mean, you saw from the top section of this run that we barely passed anyone. Here's where I tried to teach Alex how to do the snowstorm trick, which you can see in my How to Look Better on Skis for 2020 video. If you've not seen it, definitely go and check it out after this video. Spoiler alert though, he doesn't make it first time. So Alex and I have been skiing together since quite a young age and we actually started racing together and as you can see from this, Alex really hasn't lost any of his racing skills. Just look at that carving. This, by the way, is the perfect type of slope to practice your carving and make sure that you get it looking absolutely perfect. It's such a fun thing to do. I know this section of the video isn't the most exciting skiing, but just look at that view. If you get the opportunity to ski in Alp Duez, I highly recommend you take it. If you get the right weather and there's no wind, it is just a glorious place to be. Also, don't worry, it gets more exciting in a moment when Alex tries to show off. <laughs> Now, in a moment, Alex is going to try and do some one ski skiing. This is something we used to do in race training all the time and it really helped our technique. However, neither of us have done that for over 15 years, so it was pretty interesting to see if we had lost it or not. For anyone who is interested in getting better at skiing, I can genuinely highly recommend trying to do some one ski skiing. It not only improves your balance and your technique, but it also gives you a better understanding of the way your skis move on the snow and get grip. It's also a fantastic way for you to start learning how to transfer your weight from the inside to the outside edge with real dexterity. 
In my opinion, the best place to learn how to ski on one ski is not a steep slope. Although it's also not on a flat slope. You need enough speed to be able to transition from one side of the ski to the other one without having to force it. You'll see from Alex's skiing in a moment that actually you do need a certain amount of speed to do this properly. Here we go, it's one ski time! I think you can tell from the first couple of turns that he is feeling those 15 years of not doing this exercise. However, he gets really into it when he starts building up his speed and building up his confidence. There is one thing you need to remember about this exercise though, it is twice as tiring as just doing normal turns, so don't underestimate it. enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more including ski tips for good bad weather looking better on skis then please do subscribe if there's anything you'd like to see I'm heading back out into the Alps really soon so drop a comment below to tell me what you want to see next